Today's video is sponsored by Wolf Industries. Wolf Industries has gotten more sharpeners than I can count into the business. Uh, they offer different kinds of sharpening equipment, everything from sharpening industrial shears all the way up to the highest quality beautician shears that you'll find in the marketplace. They also have equipment for sharpening knives and they also sell numerous kinds of shears. They carry a line of beauty shears, grooming shears, and industrial shears that sharpeners can sell. Uh, they're a wonderful company. They're great to work with. Uh, and actually any kind of support that you need, if you own their equipment, you can give them a ring and they'll give you a walkthrough uh, any time of the day during the week, uh, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until about 5 p.m. or so East Coast time. So great company to work with. And if you'd like to find out more about them, their contact information is below. But thank you, Wolf, for sponsoring this video. And come on along for this ride. I'm going to show you how to fix a thinning shear that has a set problem. All right. Well, one of my students was actually having trouble with this pair of thinners. Uh, he tried to do some test cutting on it. His actual sharpening looks really good on it, but the majority of the issue with this shear is it has some set issues, and therefore it will not cut here the way that he would like it to. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and do a couple tests on this shear, and then we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of set work on them to see if we can't fix the problems that we're seeing. So... Uh, first things first, let me go ahead and show you how this is actually cutting. So I've got some tissue here. I'm going to pull the tissue out. I'm going to close the shear to do a cut. And it's just barely, it's really not perforating at the very ends of the cut right here on this tissue. Um, in fact, if I close this up, you can see it cuts sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't want to cut. If I try and force it to do some cutting, it will actually cut all the way through and perforate the tissue paper. Now we're gonna test this on here later, but I know by this test cut that these shears are not cutting properly. They do cut in one direction, okay. And that's why it's always important to do a test if you're testing on tissue in two directions. The tissue always has a grain where you're going against the grain and with the grain. This cut was with the grain and it's touched its cut each time that I did the cut. Against the grain, though, it does not want to cut as well. It tends to want to fold over and not actually pass all the way through. So that tells me that more than likely this shear is sharpened well. And the majority of the issue with this shear is actually the set. So let's go ahead and just add some set to this shear and see if we can't correct the problem. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and start by just adding a little bit of set to the straight blade. And I'm going mainly by feel here. It's difficult to actually see the set on a thinner. I'm also gonna put the tooth blade in and just do a very gentle bend as well. Because the majority of the issue with this cut was up at the tip. And as I closed, I could actually feel the teeth engage a little bit better on the tips of the teeth of the tooth blade of the shear. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that same piece of tissue paper again and we're going to do a cut now it cuts nice and clean all the way to the tip and we will go ahead and do another cut and it cuts clean all the way to the tip let's do that again all the way to the tip perforates all the way down to the tip of the tooth and actually pulls right back out now remember on this when i'm going with the grain you can see that this separates much easier this one, not so much, it's just gonna perforate. So that's why it's important when you're testing shears on tissue that you test in both directions. Now, ultimately, if you really wanna give the shear a good test, you really need to go ahead and do test on here. But the difficulty with testing thinning shears is you actually want the hair attached to something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this up, I'm gonna brush out this weave here that I have. And this is actually natural human hair. You can usually pick this stuff up um, on sale a number of times. At, you can do it, you can pick it up online and you can pick it up in places like beauty supply stores. And this will allow you to be able to do a test cut and, and cut, pull straight down and see if there's any catch. Again, same thing. We're gonna cut across all the way to the tip, pull down, 
see if there's any catch, and it's removing the correct volume of hair, and it's not catching at all during the actual cut. So these shears are actually repaired and ready to go back to the customer at this point. Um, so it was actually a very simple fix, but I understand that it is sometimes scary to do set work on a thinning shear. Just go gently and take your time when you're doing it. Way too many times sharpeners will put too much oomph into trying to set a shear and they'll overset it, which creates a whole nother set of problems. At the same time too, you'll notice that I did do some test cuts before I did this and with some force, I could feel that the shear was basically cutting fine. So I knew at that point that the edge was good. It was just a set problem with the shear going by feel which just takes time to actually develop that feeling as far as sharpening is concerned and experience is concerned. But oftentimes I find that sharpeners don't create a good edge and then they try and add set to the shear to compensate for that. Always check your edge first before you just assume that the set is a problem with the shear. So I hope that this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Best way to get me will be my contact information down below. And again, Thanks so much for watching. Have a sharp day.